Hey guys, it's Rachel and welcome back to a video and today I'm starting a new series called Coffee and Cannabis and Vapes. Basically what this is going to be is a very chill series where I paint, I drink some coffee which will show up later in the video and we talk about a certain topic. So I asked for questions in the last video and I got a lot of questions regarding inspiration and what inspired me to draw. So the topic for this video is going to be inspiration. Also what I'm painting today is just a portrait. And I'm trying like a new painting style where I kind of use colors that are not anywhere near the colors of the actual picture and kind of just like rainbow and it looks really cool and you guys will see the end picture and you probably saw it in the thumbnail and it just looks very very cool. So for a little bit of a background with inspiration, I started drawing I think um, like six or seven years ago. I don't know for sure. I don't remember. Probably around six. And I got inspired by the game Minecraft, which I don't play anymore, but I used to play a lot. And that's why you see a lot of my boxy art styles and stuff like that, which aren't in this video. But if you are subscribed to my channel and you know, I do a lot of boxy kind of Minecrafty characters and they're very cartoony. And also I got a lot of inspiration from Instagram because I saw a lot of artists on there that had kind of similar art styles and I kind of merged them all together and eventually over the years developed it into my own art style. So I get a lot of people on my channel that tell me I have inspired them to draw, I have inspired them to start drawing, and I think that's very, very cool. But um, when you guys are first starting off drawing or doing art, I recommend, yes, getting inspiration from people, but also try to get inspiration from a ton of different people so that you can mess around with your art style, mess around the way, with the way that you want to draw or paint or whatever like that. So let's say you wanted to try out my art style. So let's say you wanted to do like this painting. Um, if you're like a really beginner, I don't mind if you were to just like copy the painting completely because you'll develop skills like how to mix colors and how to do lighting and shadows. So yeah, copying like a painting or a drawing like that can be like really beneficial, but I don't recommend like then going out and posting it and saying like, oh, this is yours. And But if you're going to post it, say like at least give credit to the person that you copied. Um, so that's more for like really beginners that haven't even started art or anything like that. Like it's okay if you were to copy something, just don't go out and say it's yours. So let's say you're a little bit more developed into art. Um, for inspiration, go and look at other people's art styles, go and look at other people's paintings and stuff like that, and try to replicate their art style, but without replicating their art. So um, again, with this painting, you could try replicating the rainbowy and like all the different shadows and stuff like that but try to make it into your own painting. So maybe choose a different person, choose a, maybe a scenery or something like that, and then try to incorporate this art style and you'll also learn from that, except you won't have to copy me. And what this whole kind of copying art styles and looking for inspiration does is you'll find something that you like and eventually develop it into your own art style from your inspiration. So um, I personally got this kind of painting style from a artist named Francois Neely. I'll leave it in the description below. And basically she does lots of portraits and does like very vibrant colors. She's kind of a paint knife um, artist, which she uses like a paint knife and uh, makes giant portraits like that. And it looks super, super cool. And I tried to do that and it didn't work that well, but I eventually developed it into something a little bit more like this. The colors are not as vibrant. She uses a lot of like neon colors. I kind of made them a little bit more mellow with more primary colors and eventually developed it into this which is kind of rainbow and I got inspired by hers and eventually developed into it into my own painting style and that's how this whole thing kind of works. Now for trading card games it's a lot harder to not copy because all the layouts in card games are pretty similar just because they kind of have to if you want to fit in your text and your picture and all that kind of stuff but if you're going to look at another card game don't purposely just copy their layout like I've gotten pictures from other people that have basically copied the layout of my card game but like you can change it guys and you can make it your own even though it's gonna look pretty similar so with layouts yeah it's gonna be pretty similar to another card game but you can definitely mess around with the rules uh, try to be really unique with your rules and your art style so art style is something that departs card games a lot, like Pokemon looks a lot different than Yu-Gi-Oh and especially Magic. Magic is very realistic. So as you're developing your card game, try not to focus on mu as much on your layout because your layout in the end is going to be pretty similar to everyone else's. Focus really on your art and your rules because that's going to be what departs you from 
everyone else in the whole trading card game community. Also, inspiration does not have to come from like an entire art style or painting style or anything like that. Inspiration can be as simple as a color palette or the way they do brush strokes or something like that. Like, let's say you find someone that has a color palette of like really dark, kind of cool colors. You could like try that. Like, it doesn't necessarily have to be an entire painting style that you can get inspiration from. One thing that I think a lot of people forget about is getting inspiration from things that aren't necessarily art or weren't meant to be art. So let's say you're just walking along the street and you see a guy on his bike or you see someone waiting for the bus. Those like can be turned into inspiration. Like you can one paint them, you can make them into art or you can like kind of alter them. Maybe make the person like a dragon or change the bike into like some Batmobile or something like it doesn't necessarily have to be the exact thing that you saw But you can definitely use things in the outside world as inspiration All right guys, so that was the end of this video I know it kind of went pretty fast because I felt like I was talking a lot and it was a lot of fun actually I really liked kind of just talking about a topic and if you guys like this kind of video where I just kind of talk about whatever uh, Go ahead and leave a like and let me know down in the comments um, any topics for next time that I do this also, go ahead and leave a like, leave a comment down below, let me know what you guys want to see next, and go ahead and subscribe for more awesome art videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!